Hi everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of The Hat, the Zero to Jazz travel show. Today I have a really special treat for you guys because I'm going to take you far up north all the way to Norway uh, to check out some nice jazz festivals, meet some people and generally just have a good time and have a look around. So uh, let's get going. Although before we can go to uh, Norway, I first have to go into an airplane somewhere to pick up Angie because she's already on her way. But in this show, of course, we don't travel by airplanes. No, we travel by Jazz Hat. And here we are inside the airplane with our colleague Angelika von Os. What are you doing here? Well, I'm just coming here to pick you up. Okay. Let's oh. get on to Norway, shall we? Sure. Welcome to Norway, probably known best for its great nature, but there's also over 177 different nationalities living here and they have a different festival every day. Actually this weekend when we're here, there's four different jazz festivals. Now we only have time to visit three of them, but I think it will be really a great uh, visit. So uh, let's jump on to some jazz and we'll give you some nice images of the beautiful nature here to enjoy. Let's get going. The Lysefjord is truly a sight to behold. Admiring this same scenery during a visit in 1866, French writer Victor Hugo poetized in Toiler of the Sea that the Lysefjord was the most terrifying of all the ocean's reefs. And I couldn't agree more. The nature here is very impressive, with rocky walls falling nearly vertically over a thousand meters straight into the water. Now not only is the fjord long and narrow, it's in places as deep as the mountains are high and full of wildlife. There's only two small towns inside the fjord and the people who live there can only leave by boat because the walls are simply too steep for roads. Now if you're up for some fun, base jumpers are legally allowed to jump from the walls of the fjord. And the water from the falls is absolutely delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Man, you see hanging out here is called Henja the Nipper. Mm. Henja is fresh, like cold Norwegian waterfall water. Delicious. And then the boat takes us on to the first city in our trip, Stavanger. The center of the oil industry in Norway, the fast growing cultural hub, and the epicenter of the 25th anniversary edition of the Mai Jazz Festival. So here we are in front of the concert house in Stavanger, where in a few moments the Mai Jazz Festival is going to go into its second day. Now it's a very big festival, seven day jazz festival, uh, with a focus on both tradition and innovation. So we're going to find true Norwegian artists here, people like vocalist Kristen Abjørnsen, but also uh, right next to internationally acclaimed artists like Maceo Park. So uh, I think enough said, let's just go inside and uh, get a taste of the atmosphere and the music. Concert, and right away the Nordic style is making a grand impression on me. With its energetic rhythms, the high level of improvisation within the music and the often unexpected but very welcome dips into beautiful melodic lines.
one more time for, for the guys at home so they can Google you. It's uh, M-O-S-K-U-S, Moskis. And it means uh, like mean? buffalo. Buffalo. Or, or yeah, what's the name? Uh, Muskox. Yeah, yeah Muskox. Muskox. Oh, it's it's uh, this uh, animal, you know, this big... It's like a buffalo, uh, but it's, only uh, Arctic. Yeah. It's one of the um, uh, biggest attractions uh, in uh, Norway for uh, tourists. <laughs> And all the tourists often go too close, so they get attacked by it. But <laughs> oh, so that's we're... also the idea behind the band. You get too close and you get attacked. <laughs> I think that's a nice, get too close and get attacked. Well, we're, we're, awesome. We hope to hear more from these guys. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. Have a good time. some of Norway's best up-and-coming jazz talent, we move into the big venues to see some of Norway's biggest jazz stars. so important for Norway. I think this festival is very important because they work very close uh, to the university mm -hmm. in Stavanger uh, where the jazz education is. They are, are working hard for the young people. Uh, they give them concerts and they also um, show big artists from all over the world. So it's a very nice and important mix I think. Mm -hmm. 